Welcome back. And from the United Board, we have Carl here today. And uh, you oversee several uh, different committees, and one of them is M and C. But uh, what you want to talk about today is part of that, the Handyman Project. Correct. Right? And, and the thing right now is that the uh, United M and C Committee, which I'm the chair of, uh, was overseeing the Handyman Program prior to it being instituted, and then now as part of the whole process. And then we also, I want to talk about hot water heater replacement. Uh, we had our MNC meeting on June 26th, Wednesday of this past week. And then uh, we had a special board meeting on June 25th, the day before. And there was a couple of things uh, we needed to discuss at both these meetings. But at the special board meeting, we met to discuss only one topic. And that was the handyman pilot program. And this topic needed a special meeting because it was very important to the community and it had just completed its one year anniversary. Mm -hmm. The pilot program was intended to be a one year trial period. During this trial period, the success of the program would be based on its cost, the number of signups and its sustainability. After a year of being in existence, it has been determined that it is partially successful with some success coming from the number of signups but with almost no success with the ability to be cost neutral and sustainable. Mm -hmm. At the time of its inception, there were a number of data points that were unknowns. And as such, during this trial period, we would be able to obtain the data so that we could determine if this program would actually work as it was envisioned. It has now been determined that this program cannot continue. It cannot be cost neutral and the manpower required cannot keep up with the number of requests. Let me further explain that the program was never meant to be one where everyone was going to get three visits a month at two hours per visit. It was meant that you could have up to three visits per month and up to two hours per visit based on the model that we used from another homeowners association. This is where this came from, this whole program. People at that location only used it, this as an insurance policy, i.e only used it, mm -hmm. when it when there was a real need. However, many of the participants in Laguna Woods felt that it was their right to receive three, service, three services every month for the two hour duration. That was not the intent of the program and the trial period of the pilot program proved that that type of use is not sustainable. So the trial period is now over and the results of the trial period needed to be evaluated. So with the data that we had collected during this one year trial period, we had three choices that we could have made at the special board meeting this past week. Mm -hmm. One was do nothing and keep the program as is. This option is not sustainable. Or two, revise the program with a different set of variables, e.g. price, number of visits per unit, and type of work to be done. Or three, end the program completely. What we actually decided to do was to combine items two and three. We voted to end the program and then convene a task force that would collaborate with VMS and come up with a new program. We will use the data and feedback that we have collected and try to develop a new program that will be sustainable both in cost and upkeep to fill the requested appointments in a more timely manner. However, this new program will take time to develop and as such will not happen this year. We will want to review all the data and feedback and do things in a more methodical manner. In the meantime, as of the close of business today, Friday, June 28th, the United Handyman Pilot Program is canceled. As a result, each participant will receive a prorated refund of the $200 that they paid. Prorated refunds will be calculated on a monthly basis. Examples of this are as follows. If you are six months into your contract, you will receive a six-month refund. If you are nine months into your contract, you will receive a three-month refund. If you just renewed your contract, you will receive a full refund, provided that you did not receive any services since the renewal. The board is sorry that this program did not work out as it was envisioned, but that is the reason we had instituted the pilot program. So that's, that's where the handyman program stands at this particular point. Okay. Time. About how many people are, had signed up? There was up about 450 oh, wow. to 500 plus people that signed okay. up. 
There was yeah. a number of people, yes. Okay. Uh, next topic I would like to discuss is the hot water heater replacement. Uh, recently we had stopped replacing hot water heaters in the United. The reason for this is that we needed to do some budget adjustments. And at our MNC meeting on Wednesday, that issue was addressed. As a result, VMS will restart the hot water heater replacement program within the coming weeks. In fact, I've been told that some people already have gotten there. I had a couple of emails from some people, and they already they had complained that there was a hot water heater that was supposed to be coming, and then they stopped that. <coughs> now that person, I got told, actually got uh, her hot water heater okay. installed. First, let me provide some further explanation of the hot water heater replacement program. If the hot water heater in your unit was originally installed by United and has not been relocated or modified by the residents as a result of an alteration, then that hot water heater is United's responsibility. If they are United's hot water heaters, they are normally changed out every 10 years based on the manufacturer's warranty. However, let me say that there is nothing magical about 10 years. We try to do it every 10 years. However, due to permit issues that we had with the city of Laguna Woods, we now have a backlog. As I stated, a 10-year replacement duration is not a requirement. For instance, my hot water heater had been installed almost 13 years before it was replaced. It was working fine and was not leaking at the time of its replacement. These hot water heaters, the warranty for 10 years is based on manufacturer whereby they just come up with some generic number that they feel is adequate for them, but there's nothing magical, as I said, about 10 mm -hmm. years, okay? 10 years is just some number that they selected, but there's nothing that says that that hot water heater in 10 year one day is gonna also break down, okay? There's nothing like that. I mean, it's like anything else, like your car mm -hmm. warranties or what have you. In conclusion, the hot water heater replacement program will be restarted within the coming weeks. And as I said, some people already have had theirs uh, restarted. And your hot water heater will be replaced according to the schedule that is developed by VMS. So if anybody got a call to say that their hot water heater was due to be replaced and now uh, it got put on the back burner, uh, you will probably be getting a phone call within the next coming weeks or months to say that you actually now are in the queue to get your hot water heater replaced. But as I said, it's a 10-year program, and I think we're working on ones right now that are in the 12-year range because okay. we have the backlog. But it's, it's not to be concerning, okay, because the hot water heaters usually don't just leak spontaneously. Uh, sometimes, uh, excuse me, hot water heaters will usually be pretty good beyond the 10 years. As I said, mine was replaced in 13 years. There's no leakage. Okay. It was working fine. All right. So, well, I know that being this is a hard water area, hot water heater here doesn't last as long as, say, one in Northern California that where is it's correct. soft water. That's correct. And there was some discussions about just replacing out the uh, coil on the hot water mm -hmm. heater instead of replacing the whole hot water heater. But we felt that because of the water content and what have you, that there was will you be asking for trouble just to change out the coil and then find out two weeks later maybe it might develop a leak. Not to say right. it's going to. I don't want anybody to get afraid here, okay? Right. You just basically, it's better to be safe than sorry is what we're trying to say right now. Mm -hmm. Because water intrusion would be a problem and we want to avoid that and, and people, their lives get this, you know, I had water intrusion in my house, not by a hot water heater, by a, a drain line, okay? And it does get a little bit of a problematic, okay? You, you know, you, it, it upsets your whole life for a couple of weeks, okay, to get them to fix all the problems and, and then replace all the sheetrock and all those things that need to get done, dry out periods. Mm -hmm. So we just want to avoid that as much as possible and we're going to work on this hot water heater replacement program again. Okay. All right? All right, very good. Thank you, Carl. You're welcome. You take care. Take care now. Have a good uh, weekend and okay. a good 4th of July. Thank you. We'll be Appreciate back. it, you too.